So this is gonna be my Twitch only account, and I'm queuing mid as my main, but then support is my secondary. Got my secondary, fortunately. But uh, you're just giving this guy a fat pull. Hopefully he can uh, outsmite my dot. If not, then you know it's not the end of the world. Looks like this guy's already dying. That's a impressive record. See, so yeah, I'm just gonna help the Warwick with the enemy red. Then we're gonna try to gank something. I think. Yep, yep, yep. He's done so. No flash, I think. No. I'll just uh, soak right here. I'm not gonna push actually, because pushing would mess him up. He just sucks. Like he's a bona fide scrub. You know, he can't play the game. This man was a bona fide scrub. He can't play. Holy hell, he's so bad. You literally win that lane like hardcore. Well, whatever. It is what it is. Only so much we can do. I'm gonna try to bait this guy though. This is good for Cinch. You literally just. Doesn't even goo. All he has to do there is goo and he gets the assist. If you're Warwick in this situation, you just have to get tanky and you have to CC for your damage. I really doesn't have to get this much damage. Sige, so after playing just one game, I actually got the skin and we have increased our power level by quite a bit actually. This game I did get mid and I'm gonna go more AD because we do have a Nidalee jungle. I'm going fleet this game because I just wanna have a safer laning phase. The extra movement speed you get from fleet is like actually pretty good in skirmishes too. I also started cool so if I just farm 100 minions then I get a big bonus. It's just gonna be a farm off lane with this Morgana too so I think that was a pretty good call. I might just be able to turn it here. The flash for sure. While he goes that way. Not. Nice. Morgana's not back yet, so that's part of the reason why that was so good. I backed for, like, not the craziest items, but I went Doran's shield because you can just walk in Morgana puddle and then you get free regen. And yeah, it's gonna be a hard game because mid lane is just kind of a shove off. I need to figure out a way to win the shove off and then I can start roaming and making plays. Yeah, I don't know about this. Nice. Question is, do I want to rush in like a Gale Force? I can go new Quiver right now. Probably do that actually. It's still pretty big. Holy cow, that guy just evaporated. We actually win this. We actually win this. I'm gonna kill more here. Wait, I forgot he can actually see me. It's my E too early, I think. Yeah, I can do that. Oh yeah. This healer. Not bad. Wow, this guy's doing bounties for reports. That's where we're at right now. He's gonna pay $20 if we report three people on the second game of a fresh account that costs $2 to make. There's some high intellect right there. Should probably use my arm, shouldn't I? So this game, the enemy actually took Twitch, and we're just gonna be playing champions that are basically my view of double lift. That's gonna be kind of the meme of this account, I guess. So I have a really good strategy potentially that could just own. If I get six, then I can just kill them by myself pretty much, but it's basically a tank fiddlesticks, and it's really effective. I will say Jinx doesn't really know how to push up. Well, that sucks for him. We could win this. Hey, the dude is running ghost heal on Twitch. Very odd. That's what it is though. I think I flashed as well. It does appear that our Janna is a roaming Janna support top laner. I'm not sure what I should do at this point. If I should go top lane, probably should. Probably should sell my support item actually. Or just go AFK. That would probably be the better play, to be honest. Not engage with this nonsense. It's like I can understand, you know, starting out the game like being positive and then like turning on your teammates when they're like 0 5 or something or like even like dying like a couple times in lane. I, mean, I can understand just running it after that point. Well, I'll never understand the people that queue up for the game without a strategy that can like win. He started the game level one. We're going to lose this, you know, type of deal. I didn't even realize or I would have just dodged. Ooh, uh, Lena Nass. So I'm going to have to get Swifty Boots, I think. And I can just outrun him when he all ins me. I also do that too, but... Shaco's popping off. Jenna support coming in clutch. Nice. 
This actually might be a kill on this guy. Oh, I feared him away though. Only problem. Hell, if I fear him towards the tower, he's dead. Nah, it's just like, kind of like freezing top, so I'm just soloing Harold. I think I can just drop him mid, maybe. Yep, you gotta push that, buddy. You gotta push it. I'm not getting first tower. Sad day. Even though you have no lean opponent. Try to R here. V double. It's coming back. Oh, how he died. Bar and say it. No. Wait, Jen is here. This is it right here. Hopefully they don't uh they know. Nice. More magic pen if they have less health. And I get more magic pen if they were affected by shields, which they have lux. So this is actually a really good item for this game. This is good. Really good fight. This guy needs to die. I'm just gonna ult it, whatever. He has to die. Holy hell. This guy just doesn't die. <laughs> I freaking dropped it full. Oh, he has Maw and Mortius. But yeah, the ending to that game was a bit anticlimactic. We're gonna play one more, and this is kind of the power of first pick Twitch. They counter me with Vayne, and then our Kate gets to counter off on Vayne. I'm against a cat, which is not a great lane, so we're just gonna go a safe build. He went Exhaust Barrier, which is. Very interesting, I would say. Dude, you need to actually try on that one. Kinda sucks that he got that. Cause I would've got double buff, but that's right. Let's hope the Echo can carry. <laughs> if we were equal skill level, I would actually rather have the Echo get the kills cause I'm not that confident. That Twitch is like super good against Kai here. I missed the cannon, unfortunately. Yikes. Yikes. This is why you don't take my buff, buddy. Alright. Yeah, it's your bad. You are bad. Yes, good. Do not allow. Oh my god, he stunned me so I couldn't E steal. The kill. Holy Christ, I can't. 11 CS cab, bro. 11 CS, but she's worth 300 gold. You have negative IQ, that's what I was about to say, but I res I held back. Yo, this is like my profiles, bro. 011, 418, bro. 013, 210, 815. Yeah, this is the uh, enemy jungler, 116. Good, <laughs> we'll clean the rift up, bro. Report the echo and cat. If reporting actually like, I want to make a game that has a good matchmaking system. It doesn't even have to be a good game. Like, League is actually actually objectively trash. All you have to do is make there be a feature where you can just select players and not be cute with them on your team anymore. Like I would do that with the Echo 100%. I would do that with anyone that's typing to me negatively this game because it's clear they don't understand like cause and effect, you know? This game is all about cause and effect. Like I sacrifice all my HP so I can get first blood. And then he puts me and GP in a terrible position while we try to salvage whatever he put himself in. And then GP got his lean froze at that point. And after that GP was just crying in chat. 